Hello everyone, welcome back to our lesson. We are still talking about functions. Okay, we already discussed that functions can be presented using tables, functions can be presented uh, using graphs, and for this video, I am going to talk about functions represented through formulas. Okay, so when possible, it is very convenient to define relationships using formulas. Okay, so if it is possible to express the output as a formula involving the input quantity, then we can define a function. Okay, so for example, we can express the relationship uh, we, are, we are given here a formula 2n plus 6p equals 12 and we are going to define a function p is equal to f of n if that is possible. So basically, we want to define a function where the input is n and the output is p. Basically, we are going to solve for p in terms of n in this case. Okay? So... Let us start from the given. We have 2n plus 6p is equal to 12. So we want to isolate p on one side of the equation. So let us transpose 2n to the other side of the equation. This becomes 12 minus 2n. And we want to divide both sides by 6 to solve for p so we have p is equal to 12 over 6 is 2 minus 2 over 6 is one third and so now we can define the function p is equal to 2 minus one third n okay so this is a function f of n 2 minus one third n Okay, so it is very important to note here that not every relationship can be expressed as a function with a formula. Okay, this can be verified using the next example. So we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. Here we want to solve for y in terms of x because we want a function where the input is x and the output is y okay let's try to do that here so we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 1 so we have y squared is equal to 1 minus x squared and then y is equal to okay, we take the square root of both sides so this becomes positive and negative square root of 1 minus x squared so we end up with uh, with an equation where the output is not unique okay you see if we have a single input of x there are two possible outputs for y okay this means that this is not a function because as you can uh, remember uh, uh, the definition of a function for every input dapat yung output natin is unique okay so in this case the output is not unique therefore this is not a function okay so Basically, if we want to uh, create a rule dito, ano? if we are given a formula, how do we immediately say na it is not a function? In simple terms, ano, if the exponent of y is uh, 2, then the given relationship or the given equation is not a function. Okay, let us have another example here. Uh, this time we want to evaluate or solve 
uh, when the given function is a formula. So we have k of t is equal to t cubed plus 2. And let us evaluate k of 2. Basically, our input is 2. And we want to solve for our output value. Okay. So k of 2 is equal to 2 raised to 3. Okay, we simply substitute itong input natin doon sa variable natin. 2 cube plus 2. So this is 8 plus 2. This is equal to 10. Okay. For letter B, uh, solve k of t is equal to 1. So, ang ginagawa natin dito, we want to solve for the input value when the output value is equal to 1. Okay, so, what is the output value when the, uh, when the, wait, what is the input value when the output value is equal to 1? So, basically, this is 1 is equal to t raised to 3 plus 2. Okay. So this is 1 minus 2 is equal to t raised to 3. We transpose 2 to the other side of the equation. So let us uh, write this, yung variable sa left side natin. So 1 minus 2 is negative 1. We want to take the cube root of both sides. So we have t is equal to negative 1. Okay? So negative 1 is our input value. So that our output value is equal to 1. So that basically that's how we evaluate and solve functions when the given is a formula. Okay, so we have learned how to evaluate functions using tables, using graphs, and for this one, using formulas. Okay, so that's all for the representation of function. Our next lesson would be on the domain and range of functions. So see you on the next video.